I didn't scare you. Oh, no. Well, the folks ain't here. Cap got hurt. They went down to look after him. Hurt, huh? You the McCoy girl? And what might your name be? The folks usually set me out a mouthful of food when I stop by. You want me to get you some? Thank you kindly. Now, it strikes me that Ants is more than half a fool. If I was he, I'd take you for my daughter. You would? Dress you in silk. Wash you in milk. You know, you're altogether young and tender to be running away from your ma. That there Johnsy. I was afraid of him at first. Afraid, huh? Not once he'd held you in his arms. How'd you know that? I can tell. I can tell your fortune, I bet you're pretty. By the lines in my hand? Mm-hmm. By the veins in your arms and... I can tell you they'll be fighting because of you and Johnsy. And bleeding and pain. No. Yeah, started already. The poor young cap with the log across his legs, hollering and clawing at the ground. Mm. It's a mighty taste of bird. You cook it? I bet you could, though. Turkey, duck, chicken. It's easy. You kill him? I reckon any girl in these parts can kill a chicken. Can you... Can you butcher a little pig? Chicken, then. How'd you kill that? How'd you kill it, huh? Cut its head off. And what's it do then? Kicks a bit. And bleeds, huh? Yes, it bleeds. Huh? I said it bleeds. I didn't hear you. Go on. Say it. Go on. Say it. Keep back away from me, Mount Hatfield. I know who you are. I didn't say Cap's legs was hurt. Besides, Johnsy told me you was mad. You wouldn't dare shoot. You shot my ma. You wouldn't dare. She's cold. New one with the blue bow. They showed it to me on fair day. And the trigger was loose. Could have been a rivet dropped out. Ants could put in a rivet. Or it could have been the trigger spring broke. Which? Now, when did you get your hands on that there gun? Didn't have it about you when you set the food out on the table? Huh? I can see you moving about. You walked across the door. That's where the gun was, and that the log by the door. <sighs> I'll bet Levisa never let that gun lay out there in plain sight all day. Mm -mm. Not for the two young'uns about. Not if it was mended and loaded. 
true, Marty took it out and put it there after Anson Levis had gone. <laughs> right over there by the door, where anybody could come walking in. You sitting way over there with the fire. <laughs> oh, no. It's broke! <laughs> <laughs> 